good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Non-Alcoholic Review. Today we have a drink from Bang Energy. It's Bangster Berry. Fuel your destiny. Life is an extreme sport, and Bang Energy is the fuel to live your life extreme. See that, boy, Chuck? I can look at the camera. As long as I don't have to read the words. Fucker. <laughs> so, we have Bang Energy's Bangster Berry. Zero calories, zero carbs, zero sugars, zero artificial colors. The rest of it's too small for me to read. It's not blind man friendly. It's not. So I only have one flavor left. Um... So, get to see what washing your cups with uh, water from the Hudson Bay does. Also, this cup has not been used in at least six weeks because I washed it a week before, no, seven weeks because we've been back for a week. So I washed this cup a week before we left. It got put in the cupboard. So it's, it's been sitting there for seven weeks. Um, it smells... It smells kind of like fruity soap out of the glass. It smells a little bit like dried strawberries out of the can. Let's try it. Cheers. My god, every one of these. Every one of these hits me. And the taste, other than the birthday cake, which I mean good on you for making something that different but other than birthday cake every one of these hits me with a taste that I can accept but then it's just so sweet your teeth wiggle it's like they're trying to escape they're like no no stop it please and on top of all that you get that Mouthfeel that like get that mouthfeel that like uh, not sucralose but like stevia and um, aspartame that mouthfeel that stevia and aspartame give you but so sweet up at the forefront I think other than the other than the birthday cake, this is the one I like the least. Um, because the sweet berry flavor is there for like a second. It's almost got like a Swedish berry flavor. And then it's gone right away. And then you get that just sweetener taste and mouthfeel. So it's not... The other ones hid the sweetener taste a little bit, but it was still there. This one doesn't really hide it. It's not the worst energy drink I've ever had. Um... Out of ten, I don't know. Five? No, it's better than I'd say a five seven five. I'd give it a five seven five. It's drinkable. That's that's about the best I can say. Bye guys.